Ah, yes. Superman animated. That show fucking owns people! Why do I say that? Let me just say that the plot lines for Superman anime, I thought they were brilliant. The animation was excellent for its time. And hell, even the action scenes, which they showed with Superman fighting Lex Luthor and his henchmen, I thought they were awesome. I thought they were fucking epic and in some cases brutal. In 1999, people, Titus, a company that has a very shitty reputation for making games on pretty much various consoles, decides to make a Superman game for the N64. Doesn't that sound awesome? No, it doesn't! Why do I say that? Because it's one of the worst fucking games I've ever played, and it's a good thing that I did not play this game in my fucking childhood. That's right, people. I'm talking about the abysmal Superman 64. And knowing we're talking about an abysmal pile of shit, we're not going to talk about the story today. Because it's basically Superman in a virtual world, people, where Lex Luthor has trapped him in and he has to save Lois Lane and a couple of his friends. Yeah, very generic plot line to a company that basically made this game at the last fucking minute! And now, time to bash this game with unholy fucking wrath! Uh, we see a nice little tile sequence of Superman and who the hell is that Brainiac. Looks like they're trying to duke it out. And yes, people, this is the best part of the fucking game. Literally, it's the best part of the fucking game! And we see, um, I don't know, Lex Luthor exporting Lois Lane and a couple random characters into a machine, and, uh, yeah, they're trapped in a virtual world, and, no and Superman to has to save them! Oh, no! <sighs> and this is where the game really falls the fuck apart, people! Superman has to fly through mother fucking rings! And you can only afford to miss four of them, or else you have to go back to the fucking start of the goddamn level. And the time limit doesn't help much either. And not even these friggin' overly sensitive goddamn controls, they don't help either. This makes the game very, very difficult in normal mode. Seriously, people, I said it, and I'm gonna say it again. This is on NORMAL MODE, not on HARD MODE. And let me go ahead and say to Titus, what kind of fucking drugs, as I say in my many of reviews, what kind of fucking drugs were you on when you thought that for Lex Luthor's brilliant master plan to destroy Superman with fucking kryptonite rings that he flies through? He doesn't get killed, people. He doesn't get fucking killed. Then and I no died. MOTHERFUCKER! Now, if you do manage to get past the rings of hell, you have to go through a mission in order to complete the level. Now, this mission, people, as far as control-wise, is fucking unresponsive in some cases. They go from being too sensitive to being unresponsive like the fucking controls have a mind of their own! Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. And if you manage to get past the fucking mission, guess what, people? MORE TEDIOUS STAR FOX RIP-OFF BULLSHIT! You have to fly through fucking rings. Doesn't that sound fun? No, it doesn't. Because if I have to fly through fucking kryptonite-coated rings again, I swear to god, I am going to blow my fucking brains out and kill myself a goddamn motherfucking kryptonite! That's it. That is fucking it as far as playing in our normal mode. Screw you, normal mode, you're too fucking difficult! Let's play it on easy and see if the game plays actually better!
then there's no time to waste. <laughs> Wait, what the hell is this? No rings? Are you fucking telling me that this game goes from being too fucking difficult to being a goddamn motherfucking joke? Oh my fucking god! Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> This game inconsistency is driving me fucking insane from the goddamn controls and now to the difficult Tyus, you are fucking dead! Let's fast forward this shit so I actually can complete some of the game! <laughs> underneath a submarine underwater. Okay. And let me tell you something, people. I don't know what the fuck to do in this part. I tried figuring out for at least two hours on this shit. Two fucking hours. And I couldn't figure out what the fuck to do. But if I actually went through this part, if I knew what the hell to do with the computer chip? I bet you it's the same redundant BULLSHIT! Where we have to either fly through rings, or fly to get to the fucking Superman logo, or basically go out there, complete a mission, fly through the ass, complete another mission, fly through rents. The redundancy of this fucking game is driving me fucking insane! This ending better be fucking worth it after the friggin' shit fast torture that I've endured through the friggin' gameplay! It better be worth something. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck did I just watch? Are you fucking telling me that this game is nothing more than a goddamn dream? Are you telling me that it's nothing more than a fucking simulation? Oh my gentle fucking Jesus! Lex Luthor, TORMENT SUPERMAN NOW! And uh, that's why I paid you money up front, asshole. And now you will tell me why your game's ending sucks so much fucking ass! Never. Then I guess I will eat your delicious peanut butter! So delicious, so fresh roasted! I got a fucking orgy in my mouth! Oh yes! The graphics, people? Oh my fucking god, are they horrible! They are pure, unadulterated, utter shit. As far as 3D texture support is concerned, for a fifth generation game, I might add, 
Not just a Saturn, not just a PSX, people. I'm talking about overall a fifth generation game. They look terrible. Why? Because everything as far as from the buildings to the sky and hell, even to the fucking ground, it's either too blocky or it's too flat. And the character models, that's the only thing that Titus got right as far as graphics are concerned. At least they have some sort of shape in them. Now, the color scheme people, of course, is bland. Of course, it's fucking bland. All I see is turquoise, green, and gray in this game. That's what I see, and maybe some brown. That's basically it for Superman 64. And yes, people, I know that this shows pink in the fucking sky. But the worst part about the graphics are concerned is the fucking animation. Seriously. If you look at Superman when he swims, quote, quote, in the fucking water, he doesn't swim. He flies underwater. Way to go, Titus. It tells to me that your fucking graphic designers were too goddamn lazy. It tells to me that they probably spent most of their time fucking napping. I've seen better animation coming from SMB1 on the NES! An 8-bit game, people, versus something from a 64-bit system. Wow. Just wow. Super Mario Bros. I don't usually say this, people. POWNED Superman 64 big time. The sound people, as far as voices are concerned, especially coming from Superman, is very annoying. Not the fact that Superman sounds decent, but the fact that he says the same goddamn asinine thing. This is worse than Pokemon Puzzle League. Remember people in Pokemon Puzzle League? You would hear the Pokemon characters' anime voices basically say Pika Pika Pikachu or Squirtle 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 or Bulbasaur Bulbasaur Weezing Weezing you know shit like that and you heard the anime characters such as Ash and Team Rocket you know get annoying when they said their two or three lines over and over and over again yeah people it's worse than that and also, the fact that you, when you ever miss a ring, whenever you miss a ring, people, in normal mode, the sound, it sounds like somebody taking a shit. I've heard worse, I, I, excuse me, I've heard better fucking sound effects coming from the Atari 2600. And the music, this is the only redeeming factor to this game. However, it doesn't fit. SUPERMAN! It doesn't fit Batman! It doesn't fit any DC comic! And... Overall, people, the sound is ANNOYING! Superman 64, people, is indeed one of the worst fucking games I have ever played in my life. This ain't as bad as Action 52, but it's mighty, mighty close. And I refuse to review Action 52, people, because there's too many goddamn reviews on it. Now, back to Superman 64. If I ever buy a cartridge from you, I am seriously going to annihilate the fucking cartridge, whether it be via knives, via burning the fucking cartridge, or getting a goddamn shotgun and using it as a fucking target. I don't care what I use. That game, the fucking producers of the game should be fucking ashamed of themselves for making this pile of shit. The goddamn procrastinators, they spent maybe a week on it. The, by the looks of this, if I ever find the
the head person of Titus, or what was Titus, I am going to go at their fucking house in the middle of the night and kill them in their fucking sleep. The person of Titus needs to be taught a fucking lesson, and that is not license shitty fucking games. I know people, it's a Superman game. And what do you expect from a Superman game? You expect shitty quality, but not this bad. You know what I'm gonna give this game, people? A fucking zero!